My husband was very active, very active, a wonderful husband, wonderful father. He worked for Boeing for 35 years. He had just retired. He had a hernia surgery. He had a couple root canals. That's when he started getting addicted to the Vicodin. We're all very shocked because um, we couldn't believe it. It was so out of his character. And they started prescribing the Xanax for his anxiety and his withdrawals. And um, that's when I started finding out that it went from that to the addiction to the Xanax. He realized he needed that help. Redwood Cliffs it looked wonderful. It looked like an awesome fit for him. I never even knew he was transferred from Redwood Cliffs to Bright Future. I never knew. Nobody called me and notified me. It was my sister-in-law that called me. She told me that he hung himself in the closet. I got a phone call from the San Bernardino Police Department. He said there was a discrepancy on the statements that Bright Future gave the EMTs and the autopsy. They said, we think you need to get a lawyer. Gavin came in and he made sure that my husband got justice. We got justice. And he was very compassionate about how to handle me in my case. Narking on in bright futures, they could have cared less about John. They knew he had a, a complicated addiction with benzodiazepines and going through detox and relapsing. He needed rehab that was structured, where there were doctors around, where there was regular counseling, and that's what they were told Narconon had. One of the symptoms of benzo withdrawal is suicide. They essentially kept John in withdrawal. You've just created the perfect environment for this man to take his life. The verdict was $11 million. It was a righteous case because he was a good man, good husband, a uh, good father, and just for him to be taken like this, uh, this case needed <laughs> to be, to go the distance. Gavin's Superman, <laughs> he really is. In my case, he is Superman, and he was, he was awesome.